Hello guys, still me, still working on this beam, but I will also work on other beam and posts today. I need to fix this thing. I need to install a beam in this direction because this is not a beam, it's just a joist about to, to give up and it's holding all this section on the floor. And for the problem here, as you can see, I'm getting ready to lift a temporary beam that I will sit under this set of joists, which is actually not a beam, it's incomplete. This one is a joist, this one is a puzzle. <laughs> as you can see, the first one is going to the wall, the exterior wall, whereas there's no jack to support it, but it's not a problem. Problem is, there's only one stud going to the outside wall the other one uh, it's pretty much useless so I will sit my temporary beam my temporary beam sorry under these two I will rise right underneath underneath that corner to make everything straight and after that I will build a beam on place so I will remove this piece here I will also remove this one which is useless and I will laminate at least three ply because it's holding the entire northeast section. I will probably do the same here, remove this piece and uh, custom made or build a laminate beam up there. At least two ply, maybe three ply as well. I will obviously cut the nails with the grinder so at least the two supporting walls which is here and the other one is where I'm getting ready to sit my temporary beam I will make I will be sure that the supporting wall upstairs are supported down here My beam is straight, so now you can see how bended the top or the floor or the ceiling, call it as you want, is. So this is dramatic. Now you can see that on a 16 feet span, a 2x6, 2x8, even a rough, real 2x8 is way too weak to support the floor and even more weaker to support a floor with a roof on it so be advised <laughs> those who will start renovations or new construction don't use to buy hate for floors it's too weak don't go under to buy 10 but even these days we're using other material than piece of wood which are way more stronger so don't use 2 by 8 please you will cause yourself just more problem you will save money on the construction couple years later it will get back to you and it would bite you in the ass so now, now you can see how banded it is uh, and as I said my beam is straight so now I will lift until it's straight probably my beam will make a little bend on it because 
uh, there's a wall over this thing maybe I will have to put another post underneath in the middle I will see but for now we'll just start jacking or lifting the right corner should have a post right there just so that my post or my jack is not at the right place I should put that right under where the two beans are meeting so I will move it right there it will be more efficient than at the hand at the hand it will just bend all together and it will do no good now I replace the post under or almost under where the two beams meet uh, I can't put that right there because it's it's right aligned with the joist but it's closer so let's lift it and see what will happen Okay guys, I lifted quite a bit. It's almost straight. I got about three quarter on the right and about set seven eight an inch on the left. So uh, it cracked a lot up there. So I will let it rest for now. So everything take its place, its new place because it's forcing a lot of things to, to, to bend or to unbend. So I will let it rest and tomorrow I will continue lifting it. Because I like it, of course I'd like it to be perfectly straight. I don't know if I will be able to achieve it. But uh, I will do my best to make it as straight as possible. Okay guys, today I'm installing... Or not actually installing but i'm building the beams that will hold the two supporting wall on the second floor and the staircase head and so don't you miss how i'm building the beams or i'm making the beams uh, i will show you i have one done already as you can see it's sitting on the beam and it's hanging on on the straps as well as on the two by four on the wall and there's no tension at all on it at the moment as you can see there's a gap between the beam and the floor i hope you can see something so there's no tension and the reason behind that is because the glue is taking some time actually it's 24 hours to cure i don't want the beam to cure with a band in it so by not putting any tension any weight on it it will cure straight and after that after the glue will be cured i will be able to rise it to to crank it at the right position and it won't bend or the bend will be minimal so now i have one on the second beam um so first when i put it up i put it in a strap after that i put it or i sit it on the beam on the main beam and after that i'm rise it again to sit it on a 2x4 on the wall and it's just because it's easier to 
to manipulate it when it's sitting on a 2x4 because after my three layers will be cut and ready I will start applying the glue on it and I will start adding layers to this one so I will have a triple ply beam or triple layer beam So for that, so make sure all the layers are tight together. I'm using these lag bolts. These are five and a half inch long and my beam is five and three quarter to six. So they're not sticking out the other side, but they are long enough to reach the three layers of LVL. So it does a great job uh, until the glue is cure. It keep everything tight and I put all the chances on my side. Okay guys, so just you understand where I put the lag bolt. Um, so as an example, on this side I put it down. So on the other side, I put it up. So the bottom and the top are both very stick, very tight together. Uh, so now I will rise the beam a bit, but I won't put any tension on it I will just let it uh, kind of hang up in the strap or maybe sitting on a 2x4 on the wall but I won't put any tension until the glue is cured
There you go, guys. They are both up in the air, tight, glued together, completely built. Now the only thing left to do is wait until the glue is cured. As you can see, uh, I didn't put any tension. Only the first about three feet touching the plywood of the second floor. The rest is hanging down, so there's no tension on the on the beam. It is the same thing for the other beam. And uh, for those who want to know why there's a T post here with a jack, simply because since here there's a supporting wall, when I was cranking up this side, I forgot to keep looking here. And there's already a, a, already a weak spot because my dad cut a joist to install the grill. Uh, the other ones start to crack and this one there it's not cracked yet but there's a nut so I decided before all the joists start cracking and bad thing happen I decide to put a t-post here just to support the weight until my two beams are in their, in their place after that there won't be any problem I will be able to replace the cut a joist and since the other is cracked I will replace this one as well but after that everything will be good I hope I won't I will be done doing beams because again I can't wait to start building and stop fixing so in three days I will finish up with these beams so stay tuned for the following parts 